about disclaimer, okay? I know I look crazy as fuck, but I'm taking my braids down. But I wanted to let you guys know that I am finally getting the renovation done on my driveway. If you guys didn't know, my driveway has been fucked up for over like a year or so. And when I got furniture delivered last, was it beginning of the year, last year sometime? I don't know, I can't remember when I got the furniture. Ain't that sad, but anywho, I, um, they messed it up again. And so now they're here finally shaving. <laughs> he driving like, I'm sorry, he driving like a crazy person this damn vehicle out here, but they're getting ready to like, I told you guys I need all of those weeds and stuff um, around my driveway um, mowed down. So they're getting ready. They're cutting, they're out there cutting them down now. So I should have got y'all up before my driveway, but y'all seen my driveway before. It's fucked up, okay? Y'all know what it looks like. But they're out there now working on it. So let's see. So let me just zoom in. So this is my driveway. So all those trees and stuff are too far over and are scratching up our cars. So I didn't have anybody to clear it out, but now they're down there, if you can see. They're down there clearing it out today. So they're basically just mowing the shit down. And I'm here for it, okay? Mow that shit down. I'm so ready for this. This is like the best shit of all the summer. <laughs> Like, I'm loving it. They are, like, they, they finna get it. Ooh, I'm gonna be so happy to drive around this driveway when all this shit is gone. This man is not playing on this thing, y'all. Look at him, he just rolling it over. I'm weak. Like, I'm so fucking weak. <laughs> and I'm over here looking like a crazy person would have my hair conditioned. This is conditioned, this is conditioned, and I'm doing the back right now, so I'm just taking my braids out. But yeah, they out there, they ain't playing. They is not out there playing. And I'm looking like a crazy person out here. But this is gonna be amazing, I can't wait. Look at how much is already cleared. That's like five minutes. He's already clear. Look, that's how it looked before. And this is how it looks cleared. I can't wait and he's gonna go all the way up the driveway and do it. So I can't wait, cause they're gonna come all the way they're gonna come all the way up the driveway, all the way up over here and back behind the cars back there. They're gonna clear that out too for me. So, I'm super, super excited. But they not playing though. They is not playing. Look at that. So I'm back on the vlog. It's been a couple of hours. I'm finally finished taking all my hair down and I'm currently deep conditioning. And these guys, you guys, they have literally tore up my whole yard. Well, not in a bad sense, but in the sense where I ain't gonna have to worry about these trees growing back for a minute. You hear me, folks? Like, for a minute. We need to go out here and check this out. I know I'm one of those creepy owners who records people or just try to be nosy when they doing stuff. Cause I just be one, I be, I be, uh, what is this? I don't know, mesmerized, just nosy. I don't know. I just wanna see what y'all doing. I wanna see what's going on. So they out here, they, they doing the damn thing. So it's loud, but I'm gonna give you guys an update of what it's looking like now. So you see, this is what it's looking like now. <laughs> so they basically have knocked down most of the bushes. It's not as bushy as it was. If you can see, they knocked all that down. It looks so good already. Oh, they even moved that little tree over there. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. But it looks so good. Oh, oh. You don't know that whole tree down there. <laughs> They'll knock down a whole tree. done for today i think they was out here for about two hours or whatever because they they was knocking shit down they weren't playing but i'm just gonna give you guys a close-up of what it looks like now i know a lot of people say on youtube why you show your house y'all i live so far back up in the woods if you can find this damn house more power to your ass okay because clearly there's no landmarks in the country so i'm not scared at all that y'all gonna find out where i live because clearly Y'all can't see shit but the damn woods. So, you guys know the trees was right here. I'm going to try to find some clips. I don't know if I have any. But a tree had fell down right here and it was full of branches and stuff. And then y'all know my ex used to have like 
dog so that was his shit so i told them if they could just push that over so they just pushed that dog house like over that way because i want to turn this into a driveway like i want this to all be graveled too so people can park here if i ever have a party again in life i guess but anywho so they cleared that off and he just covered this up because there was a hole right here so he moved some of the gravel to cover that up um but this all is going to be redone right here all of this oh is this thing leaking oil look like it's leaking oil or water or something y'all know how i know about stuff be leaking but anywho uh, so this, I want him to cut this tree down because you see it goes all the way over. And y'all, before anybody be like, girl, you cutting down, killing, there's lots of trees out here. Like, I need my driveway to be clear. I'm sorry. I love the trees. I love the country. That's the reason why I moved out here. But let's not get stuck on killing trees because I know somebody out here ready to say it. But anywho, so this is what it's looking like now my driveway. So you guys know this was full full of like trees and i'm gonna try to find some clips to put in here so you can see the before and after like side by side but like they've pushed this all back and this is when i was trying to come and cut with that chainsaw that time y'all been watching me for a minute y'all know i cut some of this down with a chainsaw but this is what i should have had right here okay but this is what they've done because they won't be back until tomorrow and we may need to drive on it but they won't be able to do the full work until next week i have to order the dirt and have it delivered um but this is what it's looking like you guys so there was a big crevice right there and he kind of smoothed that out a little bit um i might have videos i have to go back and look and so they just basically knocked the trees down and then they pushed them right there to make like a wall and so that way you still can't see all the way back into the woods because when the winter time comes this place is gonna be scarce and there won't be any leaves or anything um so yeah so they just pushed it back uh, and just made it real like I wanted about four or five feet back from the driveway so that we can drive and we don't have to worry about our cars getting towed up and shit so this is perfect like I'm living I'm here for it I'm here for this new driveway situation so this is so you see how far I am from my house so my driveway still goes all the way down there through them trees now I don't own the whole driveway because of course of course my neighbor land starts down there where that pole is but this from this section where I'm gonna show you is how far I have to drive up my driveway and that's where I talk about when it comes to the price of how much it costs to get a driveway done um it's very expensive depending on how long it is see they filled that in there was a whole like deep crevice right there so thank god they filled that in and when they get the other dirt they'll fill it all the way in see they don't broke down the trees and everything so my neighbor's house is right here you guys can see and his yard is on the other side of these bushes so these bushes kind of divide our yard is basically what they do but i'm here for this staying cut like this so this is how far so let's see my part of the yard starts let's say right about here okay so this is how far my driveway go you guys y'all see this like you literally have to go all the way up to that point then come all the way up to where my car is so now you see why it's so expensive and why it's going to cost me a lot of money if i try to get concrete or blacktop because you know how long that how much tons that's going to take them folks been charging me out the wahoo so that is what we are did today so you see how his grass is like that when this grows in it should look just like that so my lawn man should be able to like cut it like regular cut it with his lawnmower um like this is right here so i'm gonna make sure he knows to cut this stuff now from now on when they get it together or whatever but yeah this is what my driveway is looking like and that's what i've been riding on just nothingness for a while as you can see there's hardly any gravel left this was full of gravel and i'm gonna have to go find the old picture so i could just show you guys i think i have pictures from when i first got my driveway done and i'll show insert some pictures of what it looked like when i got it done that one time i think i only had it done once since i lived here and so i have to show you guys um sorry the bugs are out because they kind of kicked up you know the woods where the bugs and bees and shit leave, live so they mad they run around here acting a fool but um i'll try to search some pictures of the driveway when i first got it done and versus what it looks like now and hopefully you know but in this video yeah in this video because i'll probably make it one long video um what it looks like after they get done so they'll be back tomorrow to cut down some more trees but they won't be back to do the driveway until next saturday because i have to call monday to get the dirt delivered so yeah i think they said they're gonna cut this tree down right here too and so 
I'm okay with that. That one tree right here. Um, so yeah. Oh, these bugs are out here. Let me get my ass back in the house. Y'all know I hate bugs, okay? Y'all know I hate it. But that is my driveway situation, you guys. So that's how far I had to walk. <laughs> that's how far up I have to walk. Or I can just go through the yard. But do you see how deep this is? Look at this. Look how deep it is to my foot. So that's what I'm saying with the dirt is this dirt is supposed to be up to the top of this right here to meet this dirt. You see that? But it's not. It's like all the way down here. And this is where the water has washed it away and turned it into a crater. And that's what I was talking about. He did a pretty good job filling it in, but it needs to be built up to the top of this dirt to meet the yard. You see how it doesn't meet the yard? And then it tapers off. So you see how mine slopes all the way up that hill? And that's why the dirt is dry, is uh, going away or whatever. So I'm really sad though, because the only thing that's bad about this is I don't know if the deer are going to come through my yard anymore since we tore down half the trees. But I mean, they got all them trees over there to hide out in there and come through. So they might still come through later when they feel like they're not threatened. <laughs> so if I miss out on the deer, I'm be sad. But. Uh, the deer can't help me get my car fixed if they get towed up going down the damn driveway, okay? So, that's such is life. But I will see you guys in the next clip whenever that may be. Okay, so, it's a Friday, July 26th, and it's been about three or four weeks since I gave you an update on the driveway. It has been raining here, so when it rains, they can't deliver the dirt. So, today they finally delivered the dirt. I don't know how they deliver the dirt because I ain't paid for it. I don't know what maybe the people paid for it and I gotta pay them back. I don't know. Anywho, um my grass man ain't come, so excuse my grass. He was supposed to be here today. I need to text him. Last time he came a little late after I got off work, so maybe he's still coming. But I don't know. But anyway, this is the dirt that got delivered. I don't know, you guys, if this is enough dirt. Like where you gonna spread that dirt to? Do you see how long my driveway is, y'all? Like I'm going, 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 boom. That's the end of my driveway, down there by that pole, right there, okay? Now, how you gonna spread some dirt all this way down my driveway? Like, I feel like I need two loads of dirt, but this is all I got. This is all I got. Maybe it looks like a little bit of dirt, because you probably won't even have to put dirt right here for real, for real. It probably could just be gravel, but that don't look like enough dirt, but I don't know. We shall see. Uh, about it but yeah they're supposedly supposed to be here tomorrow as well along with the other guy so i'll have a lot of uh -oh, that. i have a lot of stuff getting done tomorrow so hopefully they'll both wrap this shit up at the same time i don't know and i still gotta ask them about the gravel and they still gotta cut down these damn trees i asked them to cut down that they have not cut down yet I'm, i ain't forgot your girl ain't forgot and then i want them to cut all these trees back here so we're working on that but anywho I ain't use my camera in a minute because I'm through vlogging and it's about to die. But that was my update on the driveway so far. And so when I get an update tomorrow, I'll show you guys what they do tomorrow. All right. Bye. Hey, you guys. So it is July 27th. And I'm going to give you guys an update on my driveway because the guys came out and they are working on the driveway. And it looks so good. I haven't gotten the gravel yet, but they have done the dirt and i know you guys are gonna think it doesn't look different but i'm gonna show you probably now or either tomorrow when they leave because you know i'm kind of shy when it comes to recording i don't want to get people on there who don't want to be on there but i'm just going to show you what i can show you from here so let's turn around and see so their truck is still here but as you can see they have completely cleared off back here uh, where i want it to be clear so that that can turn into like a place where people can park so see it's nice and smooth so now I can put a gravel right there and people can park right there so you can park you see all of this will be parking okay so park we here like we normally park but now we have all of this to park and turn our cars around and everything like that so I'm rubbing it um, so let me zoom back out and then you can see here around this tree they have filled in that hole where that guy got stuck in the mud it's still you can see some of it but they're going to smooth that out i'm gonna have him smooth this out just a little bit more for me but they cut down all of those bushes that was around my beautiful tree right here i'm a little sad because he did have to cut some of my tree limbs off of my tree here 
but it looks so much better so i'm not too upset and they kind of got the root a little bit i don't want this tree to die so i just want to i told them make sure they don't do too much that it'll die but then this is the rest of the driveway so they cleared some more off they cut that tree down that i wanted them to cut right there they cut that tree down down there that i told them to cut so you guys can see all the way down there i want that tree cut down so they cut that down today um and now my driveway is actually a little bit wider my driveway was really like narrow looking with those trees but now look how wide it is and so they spread out the pile so you remember the pile of dirt was right there and so they spread out the pile of dirt to kind of fill it in right here and they took it all the way down and they filled in down there so we're gonna go down here and look so you remember how i said that the driveway had it rolled it down to below the grass line so now if you look the dirt and stuff is filled up all the way to the grass line now just like it's supposed to be it's still running downhill but it's actually filled up to the line so see they built it up sorry they built it up to the grass line and now it fades like it's supposed to be because before remember this was all the way down below the grass line and that was like a little cliff i guess you could call it within the driveway and so now they've moved all the dirt down and they filled it up really, really good. So that is how it's looking. Uh, so this is the chert, which I found out chert is ground up rocks. It's not necessarily dirt. Now, one thing they did do was tear up all of my damn, what are these things called? My things that I had, my, uh, my little metal things here. They ran them all over and tore them up. So I'm going to have to get some new ones. Cause I'm still gonna put my chain back around so people can't ride through my grass. I'm still gonna do that. So we'll do that later. And then you see, wherever they cut the trees down, they just pushed it back because this is the country. You don't have to take trees away or nothing like that. All of that is gonna fill in with grass. And I'm just gonna make sure that my grass man cuts like a little bit, keeps it cut wherever there's no stumps that won't mess up his uh, lawnmower. And then I'm gonna make him weed eat anything that needs to be weedy but he needs to keep this cut so that it doesn't grow back oh there was a fence back there because they got a fence on i don't know where it came from but anywho so this is what it's looking like uh, so yeah i'm really liking the results and once i get the gravel it'll look really really good so that is the update on the driveway. Um, hopefully I can get the gravel. Depending on how much I owe them for this job, I may be able to get the gravel really soon. If not, it may be a couple of weeks, but that's good because I still need to ride on this and pack it down and get it really packed and solid before they put the um, gravel on it. Um, hopefully I won't need another thing of dirt to fill in over there where I told you guys where I created the other part of the, um, over here. So hopefully I won't need another thing of dirt. But if I do, I will get it because I want it done and I want it done right. And ain't nobody got time to be doing shit 1,500 times. Correct? Correct. I need to wash my hair. It looks so good. I digress. We probably be talking about the driveway. Okay. That's his driveway. But yeah. So they did a really good job. So I appreciate somebody doing what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. Unlike the man who's working inside my house. But you want to watch the other video for that. Uh, so yeah. This is what it looks like. So this is what the tree looks like all cleaned off now so it looks really nice and clean right here and then once the grass grow back it's gonna look really good right here yeah because the grass it'll take a minute for the grass to grow back but it'll grow back and then you can see what the little um driveway's looking like and then you can see what this area looks like over here so you see this kind of slopes down and there was a ditch here so he filled in the dirt there and kind of smoothed it out um and then he pushed like that dog house and stuff that was here he pushed all that shit back there for me i told him just push it all back there when the when the grass grows up it'll be all right sorry there's a bug on me when the grass grows up it'll be all right so yeah that's what it's looking like all right you guys so when i get another update about the driveway i'll come back all right you guys so before i go outside and show you an update on what they finally finished out here in the driveway i just want to let you guys know they're not completely finished 
he's gonna cut them and cut some more of those trees down for me because he doesn't like how they look i don't like how they look either so i'm glad that he agreed with me but he said he's gonna come make it look nice for me um down the driveway um but let me just tell y'all so i'm gonna give y'all a little testimony up inside of this renovation vlog so you guys know i'm paying cash to get everything done in my house and whenever i hire somebody i make sure i already have the cast in place because i don't want to be one of the people that says it costs too much so when the guy started to work on the house i've worked with these two gentlemen the one gentleman before but everybody who he ever refers to me like i work with him specifically but if he doesn't know how to do something what he'll do is he'll go find somebody who knows how to do it and what i like about him is he comes with them he won't just refer me to somebody and have them out here by themselves doing it he comes with them to make sure they do what they're supposed to do he asked me what i want and he speaks for me therefore i don't have to be bothered like with anybody i don't know because you guys know i'm having a situation with the guy who's actually working inside of my house right now if y'all see that he fixed something in my office so i'm gonna have to repaint that so yeah now i got a big white thing in my office but i had a little hole in the wall that was kind of not fixed if y'all saw that earlier so that's what that is but i digress we're not talking about inside the house but i'm having issues with the person who's working on inside of my house that'll be in the other renovation vlog that has to do with the inside of the house i don't know what i'm naming it but if the video is not out already um i won't link it but if it's out already i'll link it down below so you can see what's going on with that situation whole nother situation but anyway back to what i was saying so um, they can't. So he does that. He comes out with them and speaks for me and makes sure they do what they're supposed to do. Um, so he's been coming out with this guy who's working on my driveway or whatever. And when I say they have gone above and beyond what I wanted them to do, and I just feel so blessed that you know they're not taking advantage of me. They're doing things the way they're supposed to do it, and I'm just sitting here like I can't believe that they did all that because today was the day I was supposed to pay them and I was like okay so how much do I owe you guys I told you guys I saved I think four thousand dollars to get the driveway done so I budgeted four thousand dollars for the driveway okay then I went down to like two thousand for the driveway because of the simple fact that um it, it wasn't going to be that much because I couldn't afford the black top or the um concrete so it was a lot cheaper getting dirt and gravel which I haven't got the gravel yet so I still have to price that but when I tell you how much he charged me today I was like you cannot charge me that much for all this work y'all did like you you just can't do it he's like no we're gonna charge you that much so I gave him a big tip I gave him a big tip because I felt like they deserved more than that so I gave them what I wanted to give them to do the driveway um and in the end, I'll tell y'all what the total for the driveway was. But I'm not going to tell you what I individually paid for them for that. Because I don't know if they're going to get out. I don't want nobody to be trying to, you know, take advantage of them. I don't know if he gave it to me because I give him repeated work. Because this guy, he's worked on my house several times before. Um, he's the one who fixed my plumbing when I had that plumbing issue back when my water heater bust. So I've worked with him plenty of times before. And he's also fixed things inside of my house for me. But God bless me today. He knew... That was having a rough time and I think he just hooked the sister up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it about, but when it's your time to get blessed, it's your time to get blessed. And he blessed me today with this driveway situation. And when I like I said, they went above and beyond what I asked them to do. I asked them to do the driveway. They got here and they cut these limbs. So I didn't I didn't tell you guys I needed some limbs cut that was like over my house and what they were doing, it was coming so low they was rubbing along the um what's it called the roof and you could hear it scratching and I knew it would mess up my shingles and stuff and they saw it today and they just cut it for me and then they cleared that part behind my car and they pushed it back and they made it look real nice and then they you know I told them to cut but they're gonna come back and cut those trees back and I don't have to pay them any extra money whatever I paid them today is what I paid them and they're gonna come back and finish the rest so I'm just like flabbergasted so I just had to come and tell you guys that so let's cut to what the drive what all they did today before um the uh it gets too dark outside I'm outside um I don't think I ever showed you guys like I said the branches that were over my roof that was kind of like hanging over the roof but right up here Right here where the edge of this branch is, it used to hang all the way over the roof and it used to scratch the roof at night and you can hear it. And then if you look at this branch way up here, I don't know if y'all can see it, where they cut it off right there, see that? It used to go hang all the way over here 
and they used to scratch the roof above my bedroom like when it's windy or rain or something so that eliminated that so i'm really good about that and then let's just go out here and look there's my office <laughs> um look at what they did out here for me so out here in the car area they did clear all of these trees for me remember they used to go all the way up and get shit all on the car so they hooked us some stuff on that and then now it looks like this over here in this area and like i said i'm gonna try to do like before and after side by side so you guys can see what it used to look like but it's super clear it looks so good right here i'm so fucking i'm so excited about this part right here i wanted this cleared for so long and i'm so happy that it's done i'm sorry you know i live in the country i don't know what kind of birds or animals that is that make this noise but in the summertime they do it all the time i don't know what it is um so that looks so good um, so like I said, he wants to cut down these trees. He don't like these trees. How you can see all these trees bushed together on down. He doesn't like how that looks. So he said he's going to come back and fix those for me. So I'm super excited about that. So hopefully they'll cut this down. They'll cut these trees down. They'll cut these ones here in the front. Those ones in the front. Those ones there. These in the front. So hopefully they'll do that. This area is super clear now. Looks really good right here. So this area looks really good right now. I'm in love with it. And so yeah. Yeah. I'm so sick of these dogs. They've been coming through here all this time. I hope they don't bite because I'm about to go ahead and beat their ass. Where my damn stick at? Um but anywho, they was on my porch this morning. Got on my damn nerves. So this is what it's looking like down here now. That's completely cleared off. all the way down here so today they finished everything they needed to do for right now so it's all cleared off i'm gonna get them to cut that stump down there down as far as they can because like i said i want to be able for my um, guy to come and uh be able to mow the lawn right here and so they put all the branches back there for me they cleared all the branches and everything so i'm super grateful for that uh, they did cut this down, but I want them to cut it all the way down to the stump. I don't want it to be left up like that. So hopefully he'll fix that for me. And uh, so you see how it goes like this. I'm hoping they'll cut these trees right here. I just wanted to be even this way. So when the guy cut the grass, he just can cut it without going around the stumps. But I don't know if they'll be able to do that. So whatever they can do, I'm Gucci. And then y'all remember there was a big crater down here. Uh, where the water had washed away the dirt and so he completely filled that up and brought it back to level so it's super level now as you can see no more crater i mean it was deep like deep down in there like your car would go like this if you rolled on it so now it's completely compact and uh, yeah so it's looking really good i'm super excited about it um i think that's all they did today and so my mama's having some issues so i gotta go over her house right quick you gonna focus on me okay my mama having some issues over her house so i'm about to go over her house right quick i haven't been out all day i'm still in my pajamas and i'm about to wear my pajamas over her house too so i'm about to ride over to my mom's house right quick but yeah that's the update on the driveway so hopefully in a couple of weeks couple next clips you know i'll come back and give you some updates and then when it's all done i can show you the finished product because this will definitely be a finished product by the time the end of the summer is over because it's one of my projects on the list so whenever i have a project that's on my list i try to complete the project all the way through before i start another project so this project with the drive is going to be completed uh, hopefully the inside of the house will be completed and then I need, I told you guys, I need two new toilets. I need a new toilet in the kids' bathroom. I need a new toilet in my bathroom. So since I'm saving a lot of money on this driveway, I might go ahead and get those done. Matter of fact, I am because I can't even use my toilet in my room anymore. I can, but I have to keep turning the water on and off because I can't get it stopped from um, leaking. And I think it's the seal. Not leaking like out on the floor, but leaking like where the toilet's running. And everything I can fix, I fix myself. So I'm thinking it's the part where the toilet meets the... The tank meets the toilet. There's a broken seal, so the water's leaking down through. 
So yeah, I'm not fucking with that no more. We just gonna get a new toilet. I want a new toilet anyway. So I'm gonna about to price some comfort height toilets because these are um, builder grades. And baby, you be all on damn flow with them toilets. Nah, I'm gonna need one that's good comfort height and has a very strong flush. So that's what I'm about to do. But that's my update for today. So I'll see you guys next time I see you. Okay, bye.